Well hello and welcome to Aberholt Junction and welcome to my first ever review. Um, I know I released a video yesterday and I normally only release one once every two weeks. However, everyone's been asking me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram about these um, this package that I got today and yeah, I thought I'd do a quick review just to show you folks uh, what it's like. Um, so yeah, um, I essentially I bought a retaining wall. Um, this is the person who provided it to me. Scoop through to the end of the video to get this. Um, if you like what you see, I'm not affiliated to them or anything. If you like what you see, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, as I said, I'm, there's no affiliation here. Um, I just thought it's a pretty nice retaining wall and I would show you the unboxing and uh, what I think of them. Um, so far I've unboxed one of them. Um, you'll, you'll have seen the photo I put up to Instagram earlier on. Um, here it is. I think you'll agree it's pretty nice. Um, I'll just try and zoom in for you a second. Yeah, so that's it there. Yeah, it's a really nice retaining wall. Um, I'll give you the measurements and what have you in a minute. Um, yeah, so my idea is that this back section I've got here, which I've actually redesigned because I bought these to come in a bit lower. You can see there that it's obviously quite short for the piece of wood that I currently have there. Um, just to give you the height, give me one second, I'll grab a, my trusty set square. Uh, right, so, the height is about 10 centimeters, and the width is about 150 mil, so 15 centimeters and the depth is about uh, it's about as big as dimension the depth is about 60 mil which is actually less than he said on his website so let me just triple check uh, that dimension for you for a second yeah, it's about a centimetre. And that's this, at its widest part. So 10, 10 mil. Now let me see if I can get that shot for you. Yes. I'm going to try and do all this in one cut so you can see uh, exactly what I think of it as, as I open things. I have to try and focus with one hand, apologies. Okay, so yeah, the, the depth there. Yeah, 10 mil. One centimeter. Yeah. I, think, I hope you can see that. Anyway, you can trust me. One centimeter, 10 mil. Yeah, that was key for me. Um, this back section along my shed, as I said, is going to be an incline. This area heads up then onto the, to the coal mine section, which is out of shot over there. And I need to get two lines through here as well. Um, I actually have a, two lines and a station in the middle. So I wanted quite a narrow retaining wall. I'd looked at the Metcalf kits. Um, they were about 15 quid. Um, this one, I'll come to the price in a minute. Um, but suffice to say, it was a steal. So in the thing that I purchased today, or not today, but came today off eBay. Um, you actually get 12 of these sections. Um, I'll try and not open up it in my haste and excitement to show you them. But yes, 12 retaining walls. Um, I wasn't even sure they were going to come painted. I did have my doubts whether they would actually come um, unpainted and I'd have to actually paint them up. But yeah, they come fully painted, ready to go. Um, I know someone would argue maybe they need some weathering and yeah, it's probably true. But 
Yeah, there's the second one, just to show you the consistency of what they look like. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no blemishes on this one at all. It's uh, it really is stunning. There's a grey cap in ball. A bit of work needs to be done there, but yeah, nice red brick. Um, I'm actually looking for the Pont de Prive retaining wall colour, and this actually the one that runs along the station, and this actually works perfectly. Uh, it's ideal for what I want. Um, you can see on the first one that I opened up, there is a slight blemish there. I'm not sure you can see it. Uh, just bring it a bit closer. Yeah, you see there in that corner. So there's a slight blemish there, but to be honest, I could fill that with a bit of moss, or I could even fill it with a bit of pasta. Um, I know some folks would say, you know, I should be building these myself. Um, I'm brand new to the hobby, so I wanted to get a little bit of a head start on some of my scenics. I haven't done any scenic work yet. I'm going to put this fire duct in. Not fire duct. Um, incline here. I guess there's a fire duct. Yeah, I'm going to put this in, and that'll all be constructed out of wood. Uh, that'll be one of my later videos. Yeah, you can see the next one. Yeah, anyway, suffice to say, very nice. That's three. I think actually it's going to be ten. Yeah, sorry, it's ten, not twelve. Yeah, ten sections. So far it's been spot on with what uh, the guy said on eBay. Which is great, not always the case. And yeah, when you compare it to the Metcalf kits, for example, which I, I think looks stunning, don't get me wrong. And if I had more time, I would I would get that done. I saw Coxmoor, which is a great channel, by the way, if, uh, if you want another double O gauge railway to look at. Um, yeah, Coxmoor TMD, he was building the Metcalf uh, retaining walls, and they looked brilliant, um, but it seemed to take him an age, and I got two young kids, so... I have to beg, steal and borrow, much like uh, Dean Park seems to have to as well from his wife. <laughs> it's very nice that he's on Twitter now, it's uh, quite good conversing with him. Um, yeah, so I have to beg, steal and borrow to get my time. And when you see what you can buy, straight off the shelf, I think these are stunning. Um, I'll quickly open the other five. Oh no, 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 let me show them to you. It's going to take two seconds now. So yeah, these are the 10, so 10 in total, which will give me the span that I require. I'll actually measure out for you now. Yeah, as you can see, exceptionally well individually packaged, um, each one. And there's, there's all these what's-its or curly whirlies, whatever you want to call them, quavers filling up the box as well. Um, one of the boxes even took a bit of damage there, um, and yet none of the uh, none of the retaining wall pieces have come out damaged. I mean, the consistency between each of them is is unbelievable, and the finish on the paint and the consistency between the heights and what have you. I'll show them all together to you now in a second. It's it is just phenomenal. Um, I know like I'm just singing his praises here on my first ever review, but if I could find a problem, <laughs> trust me I would. But yeah, so far, sixth down, seventh here now. Yeah, it's just lovely. I mean, there's a little bit of touching up I need to do in some of the corners, but it's minimal. I mean, they are so, they are so nice. Um, the other thing on delivery, um, it did state that it would take uh, a week to come, and that was three days ago, and they, they arrived this morning. Yeah, there we go. And as of today's filming date, well, it's the 12th, is it? Um, they're still available on eBay. I might have checked earlier on. So if you want to get yourself the steel of a century, I'll get on there and buy some. Um, I'm two minutes off showing you <laughs> what 
the name of the guy. As I said, please give me a like and subscribe if you like these. Um, there was a lot of interest on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook to these. Um, made out of high strength plaster. Um, they're quite dense. Um, they feel really sturdy. Um, there's a few guys on Facebook who bought them already and have been singing their praises. The advantage they have for me over cardboard and MDF for example some of the kits or what I would be building myself is the shed is quite damp so these have got a lot of longevity um, obviously I'll do another review in a year's time and see if that's the case but from what I can tell they're very sturdily made um, yeah so I'm, I'm sure they will last plaster products tend to be uh, quite well constructed so I'm just going to put them in loosely now um, obviously they're going to be leaning slightly because of uh, I don't fall over and I'm not going to secure them in any way uh, is that going to work? no it's not going to work I'll do a slight overlap yeah, I mean, as you can see here, I mean, the consistency for the heights and what have you is it's just unbelievable. Whoa. Uh, right, yeah, I don't want to damage these. If I do half, yeah, let's do half of them. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see there the... quality and the consistency between each of them is just it's just amazing um, I'm really pleased I think that's gonna look really smart and be a real feature across the back wall of my shed um, as I said station in the foreground and then an incline going up behind so those five there which obviously is half the length that you get gives you Oh, it's not even long enough. Let me get my big stick rule. Yeah. So these five give you uh, 78 centimeters. So total, you get about one and a half meters, which is obviously sufficient for what I need in this area here. So yeah, 75 centimeters for five, so 150 for the 10. Just to double check some of the dimensions, just to show the consistency. This first one's yeah, 15. Next one, yeah, 15 and a little bit. Yeah, and 15. So the consistency between them is, is really good. If I put this here, try and get into focus, I'll try and show you the depth better. Uh, the key, as I said, the key thing for me was the depth. Uh, I wanted to not have them stick out too far from the wall. Hopefully this time you'll be able to see the dimension. So yes, a centimetre. Oh. Uh, apologies. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's a challenge. There we go, you can see what I'm doing now. So yes, there's a uh, yeah, 10 mil in this biggest dimension. Really nice. Okay, so I would give these five out of five. I was stunned when they arrived. Um, I've had a few bad experiences on eBay. Um, I've had a few good ones as well, like the Philly Castle, which I showed you a couple of weeks back. That was a steal. There she is, in all her glory. That was a real nice purchase. Really like that. Um, but yeah, I've had a few bad purchases, so I was a bit sceptical how these arrive. Um, when I tell you the cost now, and who I got them from, you will be amazed. Um, for 10, including postage and packaging of a fiver, I got all of this for 25 quid. So, ignoring the, well, including postage then, that's £2.50 per piece. I mean, you'd struggle to do that. Yeah, make it yourself. 
the plaster, you know, the high strength plaster, all the painting, all the finishing, all the capping, you know, everything done. And as I said, I'm new to the hobby, so I don't have all of that gear yet. Um, it's brilliant. So 25 quid, all in, including postage. And as I said, very nicely packaged as well. Lots of uh, lots of bubble wrap, lots of security. And these are the people that it came from. So that's PK Rail Model Railway. Yeah, PK Rail. Google them, they're on eBay. This is where I bought mine from. They've got a shop store there. Um, as I said, I'm not affiliated. I'm not. I don't get anything from this. Um, but I, I think they're really good. And yeah, I just had to give them a shout out. Um, highly recommend them. 25 quid. Really robust. Everything looks fantastic. As I said, I've had feedback on Facebook where people have talked about longevity, talked about the fact they don't warp in humid conditions and that they'll take acrylic paint so yeah essentially I can do all my weather in and hopefully they'll last me a long time 25 quid PK Rail and um, there'll be a link down in the description below um, if you want to look at the Caffili Castle class 37 review that I did take a look there should be a card up there somewhere yeah if you I've liked this video if you've liked the product which is the main thing um, please like and subscribe um, I'll be giving many shout outs for any good bit of kit I find and the contrary if I do find any duffers um, yeah uh, yeah give it can't not speak highly enough swift service they answer my queries um, I'll put the dimensions for them down as well in the details um, I'll put the weights in there as well. I, I can't actually tell offhand what that is, but they are they're fairly chunky. Not as much as a class 37, but maybe four or five of these would be the same. They 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 are weighty. Um yeah. Really pleased. Uh yeah, um I know I said my next uh video would be a layout design video. Uh that'll be out next week. Um or the week after, depending on how long it takes me to edit, because it takes an age. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Cheers, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm up to about 80 subscribers, so I'm over the moon. Um, never thought it would uh, take off as well as it has. So, yeah, thanks for coming. Please like and subscribe. Cheers, folks. Have a good weekend. Alright, don't tell her. I've stolen my work scales. Oh, and they've gone off. Let's just check the weight on this. Oh, there we go. 210 grams. I would guess about 300. So yeah, they are, as I said, nice and weighty. Um, so, you, you know, five pound for packaging is a bargain for postage and packaging is a steal. Yeah, there we go, 210.